Uh, the average deposit to buy a house is now £80,000, according to the latest figures out this morning. And Steph can tell us more. Yes, morning to you both. I won't think you'll be surprised here. This is a number that's been going up. Morning, everyone. Yeah, the money you need to put down a deposit on a house has been going up. Last month, the average deposit across the UK rose 15% to reach nearly £82,000. Now, the Mortgage Advice Bureau says this is the biggest year-on-year -year increase since 2009. So we've been asking some people in Cardiff, some prospective first-time buyers, if they think they could afford it. I always expect 10,000 most uh, from, from me. Um, 80 grand is way up there. I, you know, I wouldn't be able to do that, so 10,000. I can't imagine being able to look to buy a house for, I don't even know how many years it would take a long time to save. Like, especially for like students, it's difficult to find a job with just like enough hours and enough pay. Well, I probably will get a house after uni. Um, so yeah, looking around the 80,000 mark, I'd say, Going straight into a job will, will take me a long time. Well, with me now is Kate Faulkner, who's a property market analyst and runs propertychecklist.co.uk. Good morning to you. Good morning. Obviously, we're talking to people in Cardiff, and this is a, a, a national figure which is probably very much skewed by what's going on in London, isn't it? Yes, and also because it's a figure that uh, reflects homeowners as well who've been on, in the market for some time. So we're comparing the figures to 2009, 2009. Our house prices were at the lowest. So one of the reasons people can afford to put down an £80,000 deposit, they don't have to, it's what they can afford to do, is because actually house prices have gone up since then uh, quite well in, in most areas and as a result of that they have more equity to put in. When it comes to being a first time buyer, don't panic, you don't need £80,000 to go in and buy a house. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's the interesting thing about this now, isn't it? It's just how much it changes regionally as much as yeah, the type of house you're buying. Absolutely. I mean, most first time buyers outside the South East and London can access a property for £130,000 or less. In my neck of the woods in Nottingham, you're talking £70,000, £80,000 for a property. But actually what this does show is that because prices have been rising over the last few years, is actually people have got more equity. And the other thing to remember is that actually over 50% of people in England own their property outright, so don't even have a mortgage at all. So it's actually quite a healthy market. Mm. And in terms of affordability of the deposit, we're obviously seeing it go up because house prices go up. Uh, do you think it's becoming less affordable or is that not changing at all? Well, the interesting is there's lots of different ways of measuring the affordability. And what we've seen is house prices going up a lot since, say, 2000. And we haven't seen wages increasing quite that much. But what we have seen is a huge drop in the cost of uh, mortgages. So now we're looking at two or three percent, where back in the 90s, we were up to 15 percent. And sometimes on some of the measurements, that's where we see the skew, because you could buy a property for the same amount of mortgage each month if it's three times as much if the cost of uh, the servicing that debt has fallen by a third. And that's what we're seeing. So, um, you know, when you look at everything at the moment, it's, it's actually, it is a good market. And also out this morning, Nationwide's latest mm. figures on this. What do they say? So they're basically saying that, um, I think since summer of last year, they're looking at house prices on average. So going up in some places, still going down in others are increasing around 3 and 5%. And that's quite a nice number for the reason that you don't need to necessarily rush to buy. Um, but also for sellers, there's a little bit of equity increase each year. And again, that's quite good because it helps the market move and people get a little bit of extra equity so they can move up the ladder, which means we can get more people underneath. Brilliant. Kate, thank you very much for your time this morning. And that's it for me for now. Steph, thanks. See you later.